This is what we call a stem footer. Uh, we're doing this to make a barrier wall here, a retaining wall. And this stem footer is 18 inches wide and 12 inches deep, which is a pretty big footer. And we put number five rebar in there. And the way we figure out how to do this is an engineer comes and they design it. And the most important thing to look at is the actual footer. So if you look here, see it says 12 by 18 concrete footing. So when it says a 12 by 18 concrete footing, that's exactly the size it needs to be. And this right here is number five rebar. And this number five rebar has to be about five inches from the bottom, minimum, okay? And this number five rebar goes all the way up and catches the concrete block that we're gonna put on top of it. So what we're doing today is we're pouring this concrete footing and what we use to do it is we use two by 12s. You can see we use two by 12s to make it an easy to know that it's exactly um, 12 by 18 inches. So when you're doing your footing, there's a few important things to remember. One, you always need to have good support. No one wants a blown out footer. A blown out footer means you pour concrete in it and there's the, the weight of the concrete is so much and the supports that you installed is, are not enough to support it. And the wood bends, bows, or in some cases completely breaks apart and comes apart. Uh, if that happens when you're doing a footer like this, not only does it feel all the additional concrete around, but you probably won't have enough concrete because of the waste. And, and you never, you always want to have enough concrete. Okay, never order too little concrete. When we ordered this, we measured it at 6.20 yards, 6.19 yards actually. So we ordered seven yards of concrete. Don't order six yards of concrete, order seven yards of concrete so you know for sure it's gonna make it. And I'll tell you what to do with that extra concrete later. Because when you order concrete, they're gonna deliver it. They don't take some of it back with them, uh, unfortunately. So you need a game plan uh, for when, for the extra concrete, and what are you gonna do with it? Uh, so in this case, this is a concrete footer, um, a stem footer. And after we pour it, the blocks go right here in the middle. And right in the cavity of the block, you put the block right here. And at the very end, when it gets about this, this tall, in every one of these cavities, we'll pour concrete. So we'll have a, a concrete pump come back out here, and they'll pour into each of these concrete cavities to fill it. And what that does, it secures the wall to the footer. And that's the most important part of doing construction. And that's how you build a stem wall footer. Matt Duff.